Hi there, this is Fallon. And uh, many of you may have, uh, may be following the Kentucky Derby. So I figured I'd go ahead and do a, um, a spread on the Kentucky Derby and who we could possibly gamble on based on the celestial influences of the stars. So I looked it up and I saw that there were some, some names here and we're going by names, of course. So with your regular handicapping and uh, just having a, a fun time with it, if you wanna place another bet, place it on uh, on names that may be influenced by the stars. So this is a spread that's slow, solely on names and influences. And it looks like the moon will be in, well, it depends on what chart you're looking at. It's basically, they say moon in Sagittarius. I saw moon in Scorpio, so I'm just going to go with both influences. And the names that I'm seeing here that have sort of a Scorpio Sag vibe to me would be, let's see, okay. Reincarnate would be one. Mage would be another one. Jace's Road for travel. Okay. Um, you could possibly do Sun Thunder. Angel of Empire. Raise Cain, because the Scorpio influence uh, could be somewhat like that. Now, Derma Sotogaki, I would include, and the reason why is because it's they're com um, this is an import coming from Japan. I believe it's the land of the rising sun, okay? Um, have to include travelers, you know, from far, far away. Um, Rocket Can, shows a lot of energy, a lot of movement. So yeah, I would I would include that. Um cyclone mischief, you know, the nature, the nature of it, just like a whirlwind, you know, like a basically a cyclone. That's nature, um force of nature. So yes, I'd include cyclone mischief for that. Mandarin hero, because Mandarin Hero is also a Japanese um, coming from the land of the rising suns and King Russell, because it's kingly, that's a very sage thing. A lot of sages tend to be good, um, leaders. So we have those and I'm going to go ahead and shuffle the cards and then we're just kind of going to see what, what we get from that. So let's go ahead and do that. And the Kentucky Derby is today, okay, um, Saturday, May 6th. So this you may be seeing this video after the fact. Let me just take a little moment. Focus. Okay, so the cards are now shuffled, and I'm going to just take a moment and put them in order. 
Okay, I'd like to, before I put them in order, I'd like to also mention confidence game. I want to put confidence game because Sagas are very confident and Scorpios are very confident. So I'm going to add though that. And if I didn't mention King's Barn, that's another kingly name. So going to have to add King's Barn also. Okay, so I picked the cards. I put them all together. So the one for so the first card would go for confidence game. Next up would be King's Barn. Next up would be Reincarnate. Next up would be Mage. Okay, next up would be Jace's Road. Next up would be Sun Thunder. Next one would be Angel of Empire. Next would be Raise Cain. Next would be Derma Sotagaki. Next up would be Rocket Can. Next up would be Cyclone Mischief. Next up would be Mandarin Hero. And over the last would be King Russell. Okay, I just laid some more cards out. Okay, um, kind of, kind of, uh, taking a look at everything, and there are a few that sort of stick out, so I will mention those of the names that I mentioned that where you may want to place a bet, a long shot, something. The, these are just names I'm going to throw out where you may want to put a long shot bet or um, put them in your tickets somewhere or, or not discount them completely. Of course, there are favorites and all that. This, this may talk about maybe something that's not a favorite that may end up first, second, or third place. So um, first name that's coming out that I'm seeing where you may want to take a second look would be, let's see. Um, Sun Thunder, you might want to take a second look. Another name that's coming out
is Mandarin Hero. Another name is King Russell. And for possibility, um, you can possibly look at Cyclone Mischief as a possibility. That's that's the names that I'm seeing here, where you may want to take a second look or just take a long shot bet or something. Now, just for numbers, just out of curiosity, twelve. Okay. So, let's see here. Okay, so uh, now, you know, I I don't normally do the numbers for gates or anything. And, and because there were scratches, gates have moved. So I'm almost not wanting to do it because we don't know who's coming out of what gate. Um, I, I would say I came, I found, or I should say I pulled number one and number 12, just you know, um, if you're a numbers person, I don't normally go by that, especially when there are scratches. But I, I just figured it would be kind of fun to maybe throw that out if you're just a numbers person. So um, with that, I, I wish you good luck in the Kentucky Derby. And, you know, life's full of risks. So, um, you know, take, take some uh, gambles worth um, risking for. And of course, I only wish that everybody comes home safely, um, safe travels. And I wish the Kentucky Derby contenders and connections all the luck. Take care now.